So this is where the filters actually go. This is a peek inside airport air. This is one of the reasons why I came to work. At I'm getting the tour from Ken Warren, who oversees the rebuilding of the old North satellite into a new one. We're 40 feet above the roof of the old building. You know, when you build an airport terminal building, it's mostly major infrastructure between electrical and mechanical. And everything here is big. What, what's the dimensions here? It's 16 feet by 12 feet. So that really gives a scale and size to the amount of outside air that we're bringing into that air handler. And yes, the orange vest is a loner. This is all about air into the building and air pushed out of the building and what happens to it in between. One of the key elements with the thing that we're dealing with now with COVID is dilutant air. We want to make the inside air is as much like the outside air as possible. One key to all of this, says Mike Tasker, senior manager of facilities and infrastructure, is pumping in all that air and replacing it multiple times every hour with fresh air and filtering it through multiple layers. The new parts of the airport will get filters like the old parts of the airport have used for 15 years. HEPA filters a 95% filter. Our MERV 14 filters are 90%. Whether you can even get coronavirus through the air is still debated within the medical community, but SeaTac is promising at least good air. It handles basically just like an OR suite in a hospital. Now, SeaTac says it can't speak for other airports around the country. And also, this doesn't mean that masks and social distancing are no longer required inside the airport. This is about the air in general. Masks and social distancing are really about personal contact, which is considered the prime way that the virus is spread. At SeaTac Airport, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.